So you want to learn how to remove odors from a car's interior, whether it's stains, whether it's spills, whether it's smoke odors, or just sweat. Today I'm going to show you the fastest, most cost-effective way to kill any odor from any car's interior forever. Using a simple process and a new chemical on the market now. My name is Mike with Reynoso Detailing. I run a mobile car detailing business in Temecula, California and all of the Inland Empire. I've been detailing now for four years and we've done tons of interior details and we actually specialize in smoke odor removals and paint corrections. In the past, many people have used ozone generators to remove odors, but now with this new method that you're going to learn today, you can throw away your ozone generator because you're not going to need it anymore after this because this new method takes a fourth of the time and it's a tenth of the cost of an ozone generator. And it's so much more effective, it gets better results and it's a safer process. Our first step all the time when starting in interiors is removing all of the belongings from the interior, making sure that there's no big leftover trash. And then one of the biggest things is actually removing the mats and taking them outside so we can clean them outside a lot easier. Uh, we can throw that on a table, or in this case, we're using a workbench that has adjustable height where we can put it a little bit higher. So in this video, like many others, all of the products that we're gonna use in this video, you're gonna be able to order down below in the Amazon link if you're not in the SoCal area. But if you are in the SoCal area and you happen to be anywhere near Los Angeles, Orange County, or San Bernardino County, you can always shop at H2O Auto Detail Supply and they can help you out. Let them know where Reynoso sent you and they'll take care of you. Now we would go into step number three, where we would vacuum all of the dust, dirt, debris that got loosened up from blowing out the interior. So in our case, we have a vacuum made in the van, which is a very powerful commercial vacuum, that it is a drum vacuum and it is very powerful. It does have a lot of airflow and a lot of sucking power. Paired with that vacuum and tons of suction, we have a 50 foot long Cox reel hose. Um, this hose can get us around an entire vehicle, which is really good. All this is not necessary, but it is very helpful when you're running a mobile detailing business and you're detailing day in, day out, and it's very helpful. But any vacuum will do. Um, this will just is very helpful. We always like to use crevice tools. As you can see, this crevice tool, it is a more slim type of crevice tool. This is pretty much the only thing that we use on this vacuum. So we finished vacuuming up this entire interior, took care of everything. So now the vehicle is ready and prepared to actually get into the deep cleaning, which is the really important part. The fabric cleaning, the seat cleaning, the headliner cleaning. And so right now we're gonna start to warm up this steamer while we take care of the interior. Let the steamer warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. A steamer is highly recommended for this type of detail. It is very hard to do this without a steamer. I've had this one now for a couple years. As you can see, it's a little bit beat up, but it's been treating me very well. I highly recommend this one. We're using it with the hose and wand it was supplied with. And one of the biggest things when we're filling this up actually is throwing in these little Biobomb minis. So these little tablets are actually by a company called Biobombs. They're US based and they really focus on killing odors and bacteria and neutralizing interiors. This is one of the best products. These ones are Biobomb minis. You can drop these in things like a spray bottle. And one of my favorite uses for them is actually dropping it in the steamer. So we're gonna drop this in the steamer throw it in there after we filled up the water, close it up and then turn it on and start warming it up. So that's gonna give us some more extra cutting power and cleaning abilities for the steamer. So making sure that the steamer while we're using it's actually already cutting uh, bacteria, viruses, odors, everything that's causing the odors. So I'll throw that in the, in the steamer and this is gonna be the next step. So preparing the steamer and then we're gonna get it cleaning the interior so you can see what it's like where we're gonna clean up all the seats before we actually get to the steamer. So like I mentioned, we're going to be letting the steamer warm up and now we're getting into step four, which is actually cleaning all of the fabrics, the seats, the carpets, things like that. So biggest thing is starting with PNS Terminator. This is a step one pretreatment enzyme spot and stain remover. This is an enzyme cleaner that helps to break down any organic bacteria, um, organic matter. So things like food spills, drink spills, any milk, coffee, anything like that, it's gonna help to break that down um, and it's very helpful for all of those. There's always gonna be some organic matter in seats, so we're gonna spray all of them down regardless in a light mist, whether they have um, actual deep stains or not. Very important. We're doing a light mist right now. Um, if we see any deeper stains like this one we have right here, we're gonna spray a little bit deeper in there. But I like to spray it on and then rub it in a little bit with my hands to make sure it's in there and it's breaking down all of the stains. This, one of the biggest things with this product is actually letting it sit for about two to five minutes um, before we actually start agitating and cleaning these seats. So now that we've done step number one, we're jumping into step number two for the carpet cleaning process, which is carpet bomber. This carpet bomber is a cleaner. So now that we've pre-treated and put in the enzyme cleaner, now we're just using a regular cleaner to clean the upholstery, to remove dirt, grime, stains, um, and also to give it some foaming action so we can clean it up a lot easier. So we're gonna spray this into these mats and then along with a drill brush. A drill brush is so helpful. It is very difficult to do by hand. It takes way longer. This will save you tons of time. Also the links down below 
in the description. Um, you can attach this to any drill. We just have a cheap Bauer Harbor Freight drill. This is, it's really not necessary to have a Milwaukee or DeWalt or anything. If you're just a detailer, um, just doing carpets. If we're not using them like every single day, it's not super necessary. These do just fine. Um, we're not putting a bunch of you know pressure on them, using them as an impact and things like that. So this one has lasted actually like about two years. So it's been doing fairly well. So with this interior, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the carpets as you saw. We're gonna clean all of the seats up by spraying them with enzyme cleaner, letting it sit, and then using the PNS carpet bomber to actually start agitating with the drill brush, agitating, making sure that we're bringing up the foam. And when you see the foam, you're in the zone. And that's when you start wiping down the seats with the yellow towel, like I mentioned, the Kirkland towels, those are some of the best ones. You start wiping down all of the actual seat itself and bringing up the stains. So from there, repeat that across the entire interior, all of the seats, all of the floors, the floor mats, and that's how you're gonna be able to get an amazing result and removing stains at the same time while you're removing the odors. So now we finished up with, I believe, which was step four. We cleaned up all of the fabrics, the seats. We made sure that all of these are clean. We agitated them and then got all the stains out. Now the biggest thing is to move on to seat belts. Seat belts is a very important thing. The exact same thing that we're doing to the mats, the exact same thing that we're doing to the actual seats and carpets themselves, we're also gonna do the seat belts. So we're gonna spray the seat belts down, we're gonna agitate them, we're gonna clean them, and we're gonna use the exact same products. We're gonna use the same drill brush, we're gonna use the same towels and make sure that we get the stains and all of the grime out of the seatbelt. Seatbelts hold tons of odors. We can really remove the odors when we focus on the seatbelts. So the seatbelt seats, carpets, and mats are done. We're done with that. We're moving on to step number five. I believe it's number five, which would be actually cleaning all the doors, the plastics, cup holders, all of the other things that we touch every day, like the steering wheel, the dash. Um, this one, we're gonna be using PNS Express Interior. This is my favorite interior cleaner because it is very safe, it's pH neutral. We can clean any interior, it's not gonna dry it out, it's not gonna crack any plastics. I like to use it one-to-one, -one, so slightly diluted. We spray all over the entire door. Uh, so we're gonna spray, for example, working on one door at a time. We're gonna use the Scrub Ninja Max. This is one of my favorites because you can put your whole hand in it. It's very quick, but you can also use the Star Scrub Ninjas or you can use the regular the Scrub Ninja. We're also using a boar's hair brush to get in all the cracks and crevices. So earlier, like I mentioned, this is close to our steam and shampoo detail, plus a lot more touches that needs to be done to kill off the odors and make sure that everything is sanitized, everything is disinfected, all the bacteria are killed everywhere and the odors are dead. Um, another big thing like we did is the seat belts. We did those exactly the same as the fabrics, the seats and the carpets. And now another thing that we're gonna do that is very similar, which is the headliner. A lot of smoke odor is held up in headliners. This is very, very important. Um, it's very controversial. A lot of people believe that you might not be able to clean headliners whatsoever, but you actually can. This usually only applies to newer cars. I would say about 2014 and up, a little bit older cars, the headliner is not as well placed. The glues are very different from the older years. They sag very easily and they're very delicate and they're very susceptible to having water damage. So too much water, too much liquid will have them loosening and it'll drop the headliner off. You've seen a lot of vehicles that look like that. In this scenario, this one is a 2016. This one is very, very well made. This one can handle a slight bit of moisture. We're not gonna over soak it. We're not gonna spray an extractor up there. We're not gonna use a steamer up there. We're gonna do maybe a light pass of steam from the distance, but pretty much all we're gonna need up here is carpet bomber and another one of the yellow towels. Usually we like to spray more into our towel and then we do a light mist on the headliner, just a light mist, no, not oversaturating and just wiping in the headliner. So this will usually make a towel, you know, look black. It'll pull up a lot of grime, debris, um, dirt odors, and especially smoke tar, a lot of things like that. So we wipe the whole headliner like this. So we did the headliner, we finished up with the seat belts. Um, I believe that was step five, six. I think we might be around seven now. <laughs> so anyways, now what we gotta do is finish up steaming everything. So now that we cleaned everything, we cleaned all the floor mats, we cleaned all the seats, the headliner, the seat belts. Now we just gotta finish off with steam. So this is one of the final steps. We're gonna steam everything. Um, this Aqua Provac, this one has a triangle head. This is basically a carpet attachment. So we're gonna use this to actually steam the seats as such to continue to break down any more viruses, bacteria, um, any leftover hard stains that might have been left over from the, pr the previous steps, this will finish off any lasting stains. 
this is what I taught in another video, I'm basically teaching you how to not use an extractor and use a steamer. So we're doing this, it's called a diaper method. So I put this steamer like this and then just tie it over so we can make sure that we have this towel basically mopping up all of the stains and any dirt grime. And so we're gonna steam over with, with this towel. Don't burn yourself like I almost just did. Wear gloves, you know, you wanna wear gloves for all of these chemicals especially when using a steamer. Uh, if you get hot water or anything with a steamer on your hands, it will burn very, very bad. This is, a lot, this is a lot worse than just your regular boiling water. But once we steam it, we're gonna come back with another dry towel. Just to finish mopping it up, making sure that this is as dry as possible for what it is, which is why we call it the dry method. And then we finish off with this finisher peroxide. This finisher peroxide is gonna help reset this entire seat, all of the fabric after we cleaned it because we put in a bunch of chemicals into it. We put in a bunch of alkaline cleaners and now it's full of enzymes, alkaline. It's very, very bad to leave it just like that. We gotta make sure that we neutralize all of the chemicals before we leave this. And now we're gonna finish steaming all of the plastics. So we cleaned the plastics earlier, but now we wanna steam them to make sure that there's no leftover odors or bacteria living on them. Because a lot of the times, odors are actually caused by living bacteria, uh, leftover by things like spills, like vomit. And then smoke odors are obviously caused by leftover tar and smoke residue. So we're gonna finish steaming all of the plastics. And a very important thing is not to forget steaming the vents. So we're gonna run steam through this ventilation system so we can really kill any bacteria or viruses living in here. Because it's very important when you're dealing with smoke odors is that you blow everything out of the ventilation system. So with the tornador, with the blowgun, blowing through this system, actually getting out all of the dust from the ventilation system and then afterwards we send steam through. This is a very forgotten and overlooked part of the vehicle. Um, you know, we, So we're doing the extra touches, we're doing the seat belts, we're doing the headliner, we're making sure that every single one of the surfaces and interior is touched. And then we're also finishing with the vents. The ventilation system is very important. A lot of odors stay back here, especially when you turn on the AC and you smell smoke it's kind of funny oftentimes they're into the ventilation system so we're going to send some steam through here and make sure that the vents are clean and they're safe to breathe through a very important tip for cleaning interiors and actually steaming is to be very careful and keep in mind that all of these screens can burn really easily with really hot water so when we're using steam we want to always use it from a little bit of a distance when there's things like a navigation screen a touch screen or any type of digital gauges things like that if I hit them, I will hit them from a very far distance. I don't want any hot water droplets to land on them. Uh, usually, let's say if it's a newer car and it has like a touch screen, like a really nice screen, I will not spray it at all. So in this case, this one is 2016. It doesn't have a lot of navigation, things like that. So we're gonna do it from a distance and make sure that we're still cleaning all of these, but just from a distance and not getting it. So one last touch, I don't know if a lot of you expected it, but we're actually about to change the cabin air filter, which a lot of people don't do, but we actually have to do this in a scenario where we're trying to remove an odor, especially things like smoke odors. So the cabin air filter is usually behind the glove compartment. We like to open it up, push in the actual glove compartment itself, it releases clips, let it drop down, and then back here, you're gonna find yourself a cabin air filter. Um, it's different on every car. Some, some older cars don't have them. Most newer cars have them. This is actually a part of the ventilation system where it circulates all of the air in the cabin and filters it as you breathe it in. Over time, it gets very dirty and it does have to be changed. So we like to make sure that this is as clean as possible. So we swap it out for a new one every time and I'm pulling it out. And as you can see this one, oh my God, this is very gunked up. It's, it is covered in leaves. This filter also does clean the outside air that comes into the vehicle. So it's cleaning the interior air and the exterior air that enters the cabin. As you can see, this is very dirty. We gotta change this out. We gotta make sure that there's no odors or anything living in here. So change this out. So we're gonna leave this outside for now while we run the gas system so we can make sure that the gas system can work through the entire ventilation system without this in there. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Behind this towel is a product that is gonna make you throw away your ozone generator. You're not gonna need ozone anymore. All you need is this product and this process that I just showed you how to do. And you're gonna be able to kill any odor, whether it's smoke odors, whether it's vomit, whether it's stains and spills from food, you're gonna be able to kill all of that in an interior. So behind this towel, that's what it is. So here it is, this Biobombs. Biobombs is an amazing company. Like I mentioned earlier, they're the ones that we threw in those little mini tablets into the steamer. And now we're using the full Biobomb. This Biobomb is actually a full size chlorine dioxide tablet that is gonna sit in here and gas out this entire interior with chlorine dioxide. So it kills all of the bacteria, odors, viruses, everything living in the cabin of the vehicle. 
This is an amazing tool and product that you can use in any car after you do detail it. It is, for it to get the full effect, you really do have to detail the car first so you can make sure that it's gonna get the full effect. And you do have to change that cabin air filter. That's what I highly recommend. So I like to put these in the cup holder with a towel underneath because sometimes you do get a little bit of overspray. You don't want it just sitting there for a long time. So you gotta fill it up to this line right here, which is fill line. Fill it up with deionized or distilled water, whatever it is. So we're gonna fill it up and now we're gonna drop in that chlorine dioxide tablet. So if you just get this product without getting the oxygenator, this oxygenator is actually a very helpful tool because as you can see, when you drop in this, essentially a bubbler into this cup, you turn it on and you see it's starting to bubble. That's gonna help the actual gas escape a lot faster from the chlorine dioxide. And so you can basically boost this up to a one hour service. So this will sit in here for about an hour, kill everything. If you're not using the oxygenator, you're gonna be waiting here for about like six to eight hours. So I highly recommend getting the bio bombs with the oxygenator. So we're gonna drop that in and then we're gonna open this up, this chlorine dioxide tablet. This is the final touch, basically this essentially, this is step nine. So we're or step nine, 10, somewhere around there. Uh, basically, it, it's very strong odor. We couldn't really smell it. Um, you can take all of these out, take everything out of the interior, make sure there's nothing left over. Um, and we got to throw in these mats actually. So we're gonna throw in these mats and then make sure that this thing is ready to go. So don't forget, make sure the mats are in because if not, the order will still be in the mats. So make sure the mats are in, close up all the doors. So make sure to turn on the vehicle and actually put it on the recirculate mode. So then the vents close up and the, the gas stays inside the vehicle as much as possible. Roll up all the windows, close all the doors. And this is what we're gonna do to get ready to throw this bio bomb in. Once we do throw it in, it's gonna be sitting here for about an hour. And in the meantime, we're gonna work on the exterior, wash up the exterior and make sure that it's sitting in there as long as possible. So make sure that this little thing is clicked on orange or blue or whatever your car is and make sure it's on recirculate so the vents close up. So now let's drop in this bio bomb. We're gonna drop this in here, turn on the oxygenator. So let's first let's drop it in actually. And you'll be able to see. It turns yellow immediately. Gonna turn on the oxygenator. And now we gotta get out of here. So we had to run out of there as quick as possible because that thing will kill you if you stay inside. Make sure there's nobody inside. Make sure nobody opens the doors while it's in there sitting for an hour. Actually, each bio bombs does come with a little sign. If you do want to let everybody know not to step a foot inside the interior because it will do some harm to you. So for us, in the meantime, what we like to do is actually wash the exterior or detail the exterior while it sits in there for an hour. So we close up all of the doors, the windows, the entire interior is done. So pretty much all we're gonna do after this is wipe down the interior, make sure there's no chlorine dioxide left over. We're gonna clean the glass and we're gonna do a final vacuum to make sure that everything's looking as spotless as possible. Pretty much that's it for the interior. That killed all of the odors. And now we're gonna get out to washing and I'll show you the last final touches, what we would recommend and putting in a new cabin air filter. So now after an hour, we can go in there, turn it off, but you gotta make sure that you go in there with protection. So I'm going in with my 3M respirator. This one has some P100 cartridges on here. So we can make sure that when I go in, I don't breathe any fumes and I don't die. So let's go in there, let's turn off the system. Let's take everything out and then open the doors, tear it up. So Bravo 6, going in dark. Look at this. Now that is scary. There is gas all over the place. It is. Wow, there's some fumes in here. Look at that. So turning this off, taking it out. And that is great. All of the bacteria, viruses, everything is killed. And boom, we're done. All we gotta do is open up the doors, let it air out. And make sure that there is no more gas in here so it's safe to drive in. So it was about 15, 20 minutes later now, we let the car air out so we're not breathing in all the fumes. We started hitting the door jams. We wiped down all of the door jams with a quick detailer. Any quick detailer will work. We did our honey pot. So that one is a mixture of three different PNS products. Comment down below if you want to see that in the video. And, and we'll make a video about how we make it, what it's used for, and how super beneficial and can save you money in your business. So one of the biggest problem areas that most people have is the front windshield when it's really foggy, when it looks really nasty, like to the touch where you see as like a film over it. That very often happens in a car that's been smoked and because all of the tar, all the residue sticks up to the windshield and you can see it's all fogged over, it's really hard to see. So we're gonna do the same method. The only thing that we're gonna be adding in is PNS paint prep. So this is paint prep. This is an isopropyl alcohol mixture to degrease paint but also can be used to degrease glass. This is one of my favorite things. One of my favorite uses for this product, spray a little bit into the towel. We're gonna spray it on the windshield, let it soak, and then 
We're also gonna do a little bit of a spray of the glass cleaner as well, so a little bit of a mix. So in that case, we'll get some really, really heavy cutting action on this windshield to get this nasty grime off that's been sitting on here for who knows how many months. So like I mentioned, you always wanna do in straight lines. Uh, usually, like on the exterior, we'll do the opposite pattern than we're doing on the interior. So for example, on this windshield, if on the interior we're going up and down, then on the exterior, we'll go side to side. So we know if there's any streaks in a certain direction, we know whether it's the inside or the outside and you're not wasting time looking for which one is which. So straight wipes, get the corners, get the edges. So that was the wet side and now we're gonna go with the dry towel and wipe off all the residue and that's how you get perfect glass. So you do that every time, you make sure that you flip your towel when it's starting to get dirty because these towels, glass towels like this, short pile, they get dirty very quickly. So you gotta go through them very, very often. So we moved over to the back seats and now we gotta finish up this back window, which is one of the hardest to get. It is very hard to reach. It is harder to reach than your windshield. So we're using this invisible glass cleaner. Um, this one is a great one. There's also an auto fiber one. These are really, really good options to help clean uh, hard to reach glass. So I like to put my towel over the tool like this. So where I can put it like this, and just make sure that one of the sides is covered. Spray my cleaner in there, spray some cleaner up on the back windshield, and then we're gonna clean and then wipe off exactly like we do all the other, the other windows, just with a cleaner tool so we can make sure to reach all the way down there. Because if not, it is very, very hard to reach. You probably will miss a lot of the cracks and crevices. You're probably gonna have streaks if you do it by hand. Um, unless you drop the seats, in this case, we can't drop the seats on this car but this tool saves the day when it comes to things like this. Now that glass cleaning is done, we gotta do a final vacuum on the interior, making sure that there's no dust or debris left over after we did all the cleaning on the fabrics. So we're gonna do a final vacuum, pretty much just complete with everything so we have everything done. So that final vacuum is done, now we gotta finish putting in that new filter so we have clean air. So you put in the new filter, Put in the clip, make sure that you, it says airflow. Make sure it says which way the airflow is going and check in with your owner's manual or watch a YouTube video for the install because every car is a little bit different. So that's set in and pushing the glove box back in. That is done. So that is the entire detail. We pretty much vacuumed everything. Once again, we threw in that new air filter and now this thing's completely done, it's dry with the dry method and it's super cold out. I think it's 60, 65 degrees. That's cold for us Californians, but it's decently cold out and the interior is still dried with that dry method. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the dry method, we have a video up here or at the end of the video that you can watch. So because we're already using the entire BioBomb system, might as well use the BioBomb's fresh bar. It looks like a granola bar, you split it in half and you put one half under the passenger seat and it works amazingly. So we put that under the passenger seat and that's gonna give 60 days of freshness after this interior detail if done properly. So now you know how to remove any odor in the interior, whether it's smoke odors, whether it's vomit, whether it's food spills, you know exactly how to remove them. We walked through the entire process of nine or 10 steps. So there you have it. Now you know how to remove any odor from any car. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more about detailing and comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, or if you have any feedback for me on this video. And if you wanna see other YouTube videos, comment down below any ideas that you may have. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, all of the products that we use can be found in the description down below. We have an Amazon link that does help out the channel so we can make more videos for you. And that has the entire list of all the products and tools that we use. If you're local to SoCal and you wanna to go to an actual store location, H2O Auto Detail Supply is the best that you can go to in La Puente, in Ontario, or Covina. And if you wanna get some biobombs like we use in the video, you can check in the description down below and I'll show you where to get them. Again, my name is Mike with Reynoso Auto Detailing. If you wanna keep up with the business on a daily basis, you can also follow us on Instagram at Reynoso Auto Detailing, all lowercase, just like our YouTube name. And if you want to learn a more in-depth process of why the dry method that we use is better than an extractor, you can click right here and watch that video. Or also, if you want to learn how to maintain a ceramic coated car, you can click right here and watch that video as well. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.